Mine is one king. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Happy Easter to you all. Today, we are privileged and blessed to have a new member in our church that we are going to receive in the form of baptism. And that is Andrea. We increase each and every day. That's a gift the Lord gives to us. As we celebrate Easter, we also celebrate our own increase in terms of faith and numbers. May also God increase the strength of your faith each and every day. That we become stronger and stronger each day. To celebrate these sacred mysteries, we come before our God asking for mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have already sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. begotten Son, have conquered death and unblocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we may keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection and may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, 
You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him <clears throat> on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above and not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Restore them to the Father. 
The Lord be with you. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know who designed this one, but it's giving a clear message. He is not in there. Hello? He is not in? My message is only three points for today. Point number one, the price is paid. The price for sin is paid. As we read those who came yesterday in the Vigil Mass, there was a reading that we had that said, come to the Lord, come and eat without pay, milk and honey. The price is pay. Come to the Lord, because the price is pay. It's not there. That's point number that the price is the price for our sin, the price for our weaknesses, the price for our failings, and whatever we may do, the price is paid and we have his mercy. The price is paid. Point number two. We heard from the gospel reading today that Peter and the other disciples, they were running to the grave where Jesus was buried. Seemingly, the other one was younger than Peter and ran too fast and arrived at the tomb being the first. But what did he do? He just looked. He did not go in. Why do you think he feared to go in? Or why do you think he did not want to go in there? Hello? He was young, yes. But Peter was senior to him. Only one lesson for you today from that point of reading. How respectful are we to our senior citizens in our society? The guy said, yes, I am here first, but he's senior than me. Let him come and verify. And after he went in, the others followed. One message for the young people. Take regard of the seniors in our society. Hello. We started by saying the price is paid. Number two, take regard of our seniors in our society. 
God has gifted them, has given them that kind of wisdom that we do not have. What we may talk about, they have already gone through it. They have one or two things to tell us about life. How do we regard our seniors in society? As, as much as we celebrate his reason, everything, but we are here in the world, how do we regard our seniors? If you have a father and mother, do you respect them? What value do you attach to them? Do you listen to them? Even if you do not want to agree with what they say, do you give them a hear? What value do you attach to the seniors in our society today? They may be your parents, they may be your neighbor, they may be somebody you even don't know. What value do you attach to them? So point number one, the price is? Point number two, attach regard to our seniors in society, especially in faith. Today we shall have a baptism of our friend here, Adam, I'm sorry I called him Andrian, but he's called Adam Lopez. We all do that. As we celebrate increase in faith, increase in number, increase in our society, the question is, are you increasing as a person in terms of faith? Point number one, the price is? Point number two, the regard we give to the seniors in our society. We have to reclaim the values that we have cherished all along. Then number three, let us increase in faith. No matter as we increase in number, if we are not decreasing in our own faith, the number will not count. But are we getting stronger and stronger in faith? 3A. <laughs> As you increase in faith, you have to ask yourself a question. Do you believe? And if you believe, what do you believe in? As we increase in faith, do you believe? that you are increasing in that faith, and if so, what do you believe in? Do you believe he's still in there? If you say no, and his reason, do you believe that he has given you a blank check on which to write your eternity on? Hello, all of us have a blank check because he is not in there. We have to write if we want to be in eternal life or be condemned. What do you write on your check? Do you write $100 for eternity or you say everything for eternity? Write on that blank check everything for everything for don't say 10, no, everything for eternity. That's my only message for you today. That always as we increase in faith, write on that blank check. Everything for, spare nothing. For the Lord has given us a blank check in his mercy that we have to write on. Everything for eternity. And for that, I can see the clock is going too fast today. And we have to receive our friend in baptism. May we also pray for him and also continue supporting one another as we celebrate our own salvation. Write on that check. Everything for? You may forget everything I've said, but remember, spare nothing for your own eternal life. Everything for? So, let us remember, what was point number one?
The price is number two. We have to reclaim the values of our society and the seniors in our society. What value do you attach to them? Number three. Hello. <laughs> Increase in? Then you ask yourself a question. Do you believe? If you say yes, what do you believe in? And as the Lord gives you a blank check, what do you write on it? Everything for? Spare nothing. Not even your beauty, not even your suits, not even your shoes, not even what you do, but everything for? Come on. You may stand, please. Parents, what name do you want to give to your child? I am Isaiah Lopez. Adam Isaiah Lopez. And what do you ask of the church? Baptism. Baptism. You did not know. <laughs> <laughs> You have asked to have your child baptized, and in doing so, you accept the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty as parents to bring him up in God's commandments, and as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? I did not hear say loudly. Yes. yes. Are you ready, the godparents? Are you ready to help the parents to raise up this child dutifully in the Christian faith? Yes. Adam, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. And in its name, I claim you for Christ, our Savior, by the sign of the cross. And I will ask, the godparents and the parents to do the same. You may sit, please. And now I ask the community and the family to invoke the prayers of the saints as we celebrate this baptism. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. St. Adam, Pray for us. All holy men and women, Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only begotten Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him to the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray that this child, Adam, set him free from the original sin. Make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell upon him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever.
May you have strength in the power of Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child a new life in abundance through the water and the Holy Spirit. Through the waters of the sea, you led Israel out of slavery to the image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son will that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung on the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own image. Cleanse him from sin in the new birth to innocence by water and by the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send your Holy Spirit upon this water. May all who are buried with it in Christ, in his death, and in baptism rise with him to the newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And now, parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism by water and by the Holy Spirit, and to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of faith. Say that the divine life which God gives to him is kept safe. Hello? Don't spoil it. Is kept safe from poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism to reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus, and this is the faith of the church, the faith which you profess. You may write, please. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and the prince of darkness? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins? the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. And we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Is it your will that Adam should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have professed? Yes or no? Yes. Adam, I baptize you 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's very cool. Wow. <laughs> God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you, Adam, from the original sin, given you a new birth by the water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He may now anoint you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so you may live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Adam, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See, parents and godparents. In this white garment, the outward sign of that Christian dignity, and with your help and friends, may that be sustained. Hello. Okay. And bring that dignity to the Lord and stain to everlasting life. Let's stay here. It's only you. Uh oh, you can jump. Receive the light of Christ, parents and godparents. This light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of light. May he keep that flame of faith alive in his, in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he find him worthy of his kingdom of heaven. The Lord Jesus made the deaf to hear, the mute to speak. May he, may he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Adam, you are put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's spirit, and in communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. And in the name of these Charles, in the spirit of common sonship, let us pray to God together in the words of our Lord, as he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, was brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with him in, in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of life and human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife may be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best teachers bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's grace, through the water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to the everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons of his and daughters. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here today. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now it's time for intercessions. Our new member, Adam, is, hmm, hello, <laughs> please. With exhortation and joy, we proclaim that Christ is risen and that through him we can now offer our prayers to the Father. For the Church, that the Easter joy that surrounds us on this day may permeate our hearts and then radiate out to our, the world through our words and actions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace that the Spirit of God will bring forth a springtime of peace in our cities, our nation, and among nations, especially in the Ukraine, so that all people may live in safety and with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who were received into the church, may the promise and grace of the sacraments of initiation fill their hearts with faith, hope, and love let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace of reconciliation, that the power of the resurrection bring healing and new life to families and communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are burdened by sickness, disease, or chronic illness, that the healing spirit of the risen Christ may bring light and wholeness to them let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked for our prayers, for those whose names are written in our prayer request book, and for those who have recently died, Joseph Vigil, Mary Helen Trevino, Andrew Jesse Guerra, Luis Alvarado, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the special intentions of this Mass, for the eternal repose of Joe P. Saldivar and Hubert Lange. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May your promise inspire us to share the new life you have given us with, your, with our sisters and brothers as you grant our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for the kids. We have a gift for the small kids. Um, allow them to come and bring their gifts to me because I'm going to eat everything they give to me. Who begins? Kids? Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Exultant with the Paschal with gladness, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks and acclaim you. But in this time above all, Lord, you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise with eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful in his death. He is our ransom from death and is rising, from, from, rising to the life is all for us to rise. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving it thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of your Son, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with friends of our Pope, Gustav, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and O my issues, forever and ever. And now we pray the Father in the words of our Savior told us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, and now be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who saved your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
bite of rice? And now, together with our brothers and sisters unable to receive the body of Christ, let us make a spiritual communion with them. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
We want to give you thanks for the assistance with passing uh, the baskets for the collection. Uh, today's second collection is for CR is uh, rice bowls. If you still have some uh, rice bowls pending to turn into the church, please uh, drop it off as you leave the church. You can also continue through the second collection. If you have any donations for St. Paul, St. Vincent de Paul, you can also place that in the second collection. Uh, we would like to wish you a happy Easter on behalf of our pastor, uh, Father Eric, and, uh, and also Father Danny, and in general, all the associate uh, uh, staff, the parish staff, please have a very happy Easter. Uh, next week is a Divine Mercy Sunday. We will celebrate the devotion and all Masses. And I invite you to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet at 6 p.m. here in the church. 
Now I would like to ask Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Pesina to come forward. They are going to be praying for us this week. They will take the traveling chalice. Facing the community. And I'm going to ask you to join me during the prayer for vocations. God, in baptism we call you by name and may those members of your people, the church, guide us to know our vocations in life and to respond by living your spirit of holiness for your great glory and for the service of your people. Raise up dedicated and generous members who will serve their lives as women and men, religious, priests, deacons, married or single. Send your spirit to guide and strengthen us so we may serve your people, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we offer this prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Please, a round of applause there will be praying for us. Thank you. Now I want to invite all visitors to please stand if somebody is visiting uh, St. Luke's this parish today. We have one here. Yeah. Where did you come from? Eh? You? Check your card in Walde. Okay, in Walde. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you for coming. coming. Anyone, Anyone else? else? From, From where? In West Laco, Texas. Texas. Okay, okay welcome. welcome. Welcome to this parish. Over there we have a family. From Eagle Pass. Pass. Welcome. welcome, welcome. Anybody else? All right, right. Now, now do we, we have, have birthdays or anniversaries that, that you are celebrating? celebrating? Birthday? Yeah. Anniversary. How, How many, many years? years? Four, Four years. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. A birthday? Four. Oh. He's getting fourth. And, and the birthday? Birthday? Okay, okay. please join me. Oh, oh, you, you have, have a birthday, birthday as well. Please, Please join me in the blessing. Almighty Father, Father, we ask you to bless these children of yours who are celebrating an anniversary or a birthday. Guide them. Send your light upon them so they can know the best way to get to you in your eternal glory. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now please stand. The Lord be with you. May my God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the risen Lord with your life. Alleluia, alleluia.